Hi Aquarius, happy December, happy holidays to each and every one of you. It's Teresa at your Indigo Path bringing you the December Love Tarot reading. This is, um, guys, I do work with Cindy at your Indigo Path. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the videos. And if you're looking for additional services, please check the links below or go to yourindigopath.com. When checking out, if you'd like me to do the reading for you, simply type my name in the comment section. I'll get the notification and add you to my schedule as quickly as possible. So thank you so much for that. Again, shout out to Star Ackerman and IK Multimedia for the sponsorship. Again, they provide the iRig, Mic Love, and iClip. We are grateful for the sponsorship. Guys, please check their products and services out. They, you might be surprised. They have some really very cool things over there at ikmultimedia.com. And most importantly, I am forever grateful every day, and you'll hear me say this every video that I do, I am grateful for Spirit, for choosing me to be their vessel that they use to get these messages out to each and every single one of you searching and seeking. So thank you so much. Well, Aquarius, this is going to be your 10-card Celtic spread for the month of December 2016. Love tarot reading using the Gilded Tarot. Guys, uh, let's get this started and see how it comes out for you. I'm excited. Lots of happiness. Happy things usually happen in December. Oh, but let's see what's happening with you. All right, Aquarians, let's look at this. In you in the first you were the first card. In the first position, this is you. Three of Swords. I feel like you've come out of a hardship, that there is now clarity in your love life, that you uh, may very well have been involved in a Love triangle, most definitely. I feel that very strongly for many of you, but there's clarity now, and you're coming out of the dark side of it, and you're either going to balance it and heal this relationship with your love, or you're, you're done. One of the two. What is crossing you? In the second position, you've got the two of wands, and this is clearly about making a choice. Choosing a path, which way do I go? Do I go right, or do I go left? Neither one is right, neither one of them is wrong, but this is all about you making a choice on which path you're going to pursue now. What puts you in the first, in, first position is the third card. This is your recent past. You've had the Nine of Swords. This is all about you worrying about your love relationship. This is all about you knowing some of these things are, you know, it's deciphering truth from fiction. And it's about deciding what is true, what is false. And you've, you're wise, so now you understand what is true, what is false, which puts you in the first position of the Three of Swords in reverse with a Two of Wands crossing you. Now, well, this, is, this is where it starts looking nicer. In the fourth position, this is a future card. This will be now up until maybe two weeks. You've got the Ace of Cups. You are now looking at your heart of emotions. In your relationship, you know you need more, you want more, you expect more, and you're going to start feeling that cup of emotion. You are either going to start over, start from scratch with your current relation, or you're going to find a new one. So, congratulations. In your fifth position, message from the higher self, we have the hangman. This is uh, all about you letting go. This is about you releasing. You're breaking free of the chains because what you thought was no longer serves you and you are breaking those chains so that you can balance on the wheel of life and in a love relationship. So you've got to break these chains and that is what they're telling you. In your sixth position, this is the second future card for, you know, two weeks or a little past. You may, you know, this is about you realizing you've put all the work into a specific relationship. And it doesn't matter what else you do to it. It is what it is, and that's where it's going to stay, okay? So, this is about recognition that you finally recognize I've put all this into it. That's recognition for you. Okay. Aquarius, in the seventh position, your fear and insecurities are... Let me fill this card. Okay. 
you're going to be challenged. Your fear and insecurities, you're going to be challenged by someone else regarding the love matter. It's like a fire sign, maybe. For some of you, you may be dealing with a fire sign. That would be um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You feel like your fear and insecurity is that this, this fire sign may actually challenge you regarding a love relationship. Like, you may be, wow, some of you may actually come to fist blows over this. That's interesting. Okay, but that's the fear and insecurity. This is what you do not want to happen. And again, I remind you, you have boundaries and um, you need to maintain them and you'll be fine. What the environment, this is um, eighth position, what you, the environment is saying you need to do or what needs to be done to move this relationship along is the devil card. So it's basically saying that you either to, need to physically move away from the situation or you need to physically get into the relationship, meaning let's get close and let's have some passion. So this is all about kinetics. This card, feel, it feels like movement to me. Some of you need to be passionate and physical with your partner or your love interest. Some of you need to physically move away. I mean, like physically move away from the partner. But I think it's um, most of you is about being passionate and intimate because your hopes and dreams, you've got the lover's card. Wow, this is, I just did somebody and they had this card hopes and dreams. I think we all want this card for our hopes and dreams. We, we have the lover's card. You know, this is like the fun, the playful, the fiery, this, this like two souls just combining into one and it's beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful, perfect love on a, on a deep, deep soul relationship. It's more than physical. Okay, in the 10th position, Aquarius, overall message about your love reading for December is you've got the Two of Cups. This is truly you because you are an air sign. You want someone that to love that loves on a mental. It has to, Your love has to be more than a physical love. It has to be mental. It has to be physical. And it has to be emotionally satisfying to balance you out. That's what this is all telling you. So if you don't have that, you need to move along. If you have that, then you're going to move <laughs> passionately along <laughs> with, your, with your partner. So I hope this resonates. My little Aquarians, I hope you enjoyed the reading. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. If you're looking for additional services, be sure to check the links below or go to yourindigopath.com. Also, thank you Star Ackerman and IK Multimedia for your sponsorship. We greatly appreciate you. Guys, I'm serious. Check out their products and services and tell your friends because they may need something or want something that um, they can get through IK Multimedia and their site is ikmultimedia.com. And final, final thing is if you guys are Periscope users, be sure to join me. I'm at, follow me at Terry Gary, T-E-R-E-G-E-A-R-Y. I'm live three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Wednesday and Friday are now at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Monday is all about, you know, getting past Monday mania, getting the week started. It's a, it's a great way to bust up the monotony on Mondays. Uh, Wednesday is, and Monday and Wednesday are general readings for one hour. You get one question, one card answers. You can come hang out with the soul family. Y'all can interact with each other while I'm answering questions. It's a lot of fun. It's a great way to get your, get a, a burning, as they call it, a burning question answered. But, you know, it's fun. We're good. We're a fun group. So come on and join us. Friday, it's all about the love scope. It's about uh, how your love, you know, let's get a love answer. How's your love going to be for the weekend? So, like I said, follow me. Come on over. You'll get notifications when we're on. And it is a good time for all. So, thank you, Aquarians, for stopping by to check out your Love Tarot reading for December 2016. Have a great one. See you for the mid-months. Bye.